All right, uh, let's see if this works. It's tea time. I'm going to have a good time today. Uh, I don't have a tea with me. I was on a Zoom call with one of my coaches and trying to plan that Japanese trip, the next Japanese trip. So I'm ready to go back to Japan. Uh, if I did have a thing, it would be, today was going to be a, a probably a blueberry tea. Um, I really like those. And the one from uh, T, it's the English company. I forget the name of it, but it, it's not a tea bag with the little string. It's a, it's like a tea disc and you, you put it in hot water and it, and it brews. So, but nevertheless, I hope you have your tea. It's tea time. As I was sitting in my thinking chair, thinking about the things I think about, here is what I was thinking about. God was showing me, hmm, how we test him in ways that he hasn't asked to be tested in, where we just say, have you ever, let me just put it this way, have you ever, I, I did this, if this if this goes on sale in the next 48 hours, that means I'm supposed to buy it. And guess what? It goes on sale and I buy it and it breaks immediately. And I'm like, God, you know, I, I, was, I was hoping that you had approved this. And he's probably looking down like, you did what you wanted to do. I was reading a story of a man who was on a diet <clears throat> and he was doing really good because he stopped getting donuts. And the way he stopped getting donuts, he took a different route uh, as he was going to work. And the old him would always go by this place and he'd be like, oh, I just, I got to give it something. And he'd fall into his trap of getting what he did not need. <clears throat> so this particular day, he was running late and he went the wrong way. Uh, he went his old way to get to work faster. And as he was passing the donut shop, he told God, he said, uh, I know I've been doing good. I've been doing excellent. I've been trying to lose weight and I've been doing all these things. But God, if you would allow me to, if there's a parking space open right in front of the building, then I'll stop and get the donut and keep moving as just a reward, you know, because I know I've been doing, I've been doing good. I've been doing what I can do. And the third time around, a spot opened up. There it is. He got what he wanted. And you know, scripture says he will give you the desires of your heart. But, you know, <clears throat> not abusing God and not abusing the scriptures, I was looking and I was noticing that uh, I'm in the Old Testament. We're, we're reading uh, my little group in on uh, the Bible app. We're reading the Bible through a year, through the year. And this keeps happening over and over again. And he was like, I'll, I'll, I'll give you over to your devices. The things that God uh, saying, this is going to hurt you. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. And they do it anyway. And then he says, I just turn you over to what your heart desires. <clears throat> uh, the, the people wanted a king. God was like, you got me what you need a king for. And they was begging for a king so we could be just like all the other nations. And what happens? God says, fine have your king and the king 
messes them all up. Over and over and over again. Because I'm reading, we're, we're in the middle of Kings and Chronicles. And they keep happening over and over and over again. God just gives them over to what they desire. And it's not like he's approving it. It's more like you're going to keep asking and you're not going to learn your lesson until you get what you want. Here it is. Uh, even today, uh, I think it was uh, King Ahab. He said, uh, you know, bring all the prophets here and pretty much this is this is the book of Jeff right here. Bring all the prophets here and let them tell me what I want to hear that we're going to win this battle. And Jehoshaphat was like, well, isn't there any other prophets from from God? Is any of them left? And uh, he's like, yeah, but I don't like him because he always tells me stuff I don't want to hear. So, as we're thinking about, as we're sipping our tea, what I want you to think about is, are you asking for things that's going against the will? Okay? <clears throat> and what I mean by that is, are we testing God? Are we testing him? If this happens to go my way, are you really just approving me to do what I want to do? You know, if this shirt go on sale and I know the money is for the bills, but I just this won't hurt that much. Is this going to do, you know, is this going to put me out the way, you know, I can God, can you look the other way for just a minute? And we find ourselves doing this over and over and over and over again till we get what we want. And then, Lord, help me, please. Lord, help me, please. Well, as you sip your tea and you think about those things, I want you to think to yourself that you won't do that. What you'll do well, well, Jeff, how do we combat this? How do we get away from testing him that way? Well, and this is where I was talking to God in my quiet time, in, in my tea time with him. I was saying, how do I not do that anymore? Because I know I do it. And he's like, if you're listening, when you pray, if you're listening you have your answer. Knocking the door will be open. You know, ask and you shall receive. Or ask and uh, your answer will come to you. Seek and you shall find. Okay? So, when you go and you are looking for your answer, listen for it. And not put conditions on what the answer will be. Because, like I said, all throughout scripture, all the people did it too. They... Lord, you know, if I'm supposed to do this, then make it rain over there and make it dry over here. And he does it. A lot of times, you know, we're his kids. He, he's like, OK, I can do this for you. But there's a lot of times it's just like you want to just have to learn your lesson. There. Whatever you wanted to do, you wanted to jump off the roof so bad, there you go. And no, I'm not going to help you fly. <clears throat> so that's it for today. I just wanted to get back in the, the habit of talking to my peeps all, you know, having tea with them. Even though I don't have any tea. I do have this, but I'm not that thirsty. <laughs> So you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome day and I will see you tomorrow.